weekend when my husband Tom and I pulled into our campsite, I immediately knew there were gonna be problems. We had a campground neighbor that broke three of the six campground camping etiquette unwritten rules that I'm gonna tell you about. And it really put a damper on my weekend. And I don't want you to be one of those people. So please watch this full video. Hi, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I help weekend warriors make big memories in small campers. If you're an RV newbie, and we all were at one time, you may not know that there are unwritten campground rules, also known as campground etiquette. So how do you stop people from thinking you're a campground moron? by following these unwritten rules. So I have to tell you what happened last weekend when I was camping. We arrived at the campground on a Friday afternoon around three o'clock. And as we were getting closer to our campsite, we heard some loud music. And I mean, it was loud. When we pulled into our campsite, I realized that this loud music was coming from the campsite right across the street from ours. So this is my campsite, and it was a really nice campsite with a lake view. As we unhitched our little guy Max and got unpacked, the music just continued to play. Now I was thinking to myself, this is a bad sign. But I thought, hey, at least they're playing classic rock and roll from the 70s and 80s, and this is music that I like. They were playing Journey and Aerosmith and Tom Petty. So it was really good music. So the first unwritten rule is noise control. Now, most campgrounds have quiet hours, usually between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. But regardless if it's quiet hour or not, you should never play loud music or make noise that's gonna affect your other campground neighbors, especially for extended periods of time. This is not good campground etiquette. With that said, this also pertains to your voice. They were playing the music so loud, they had to talk really loud to hear themselves and they were dropping a lot of f-bombs so not only could I hear the music as if it was playing right next to my ear I could hear what they were saying and these weren't conversations that I wanted to hear if you're gonna have a party with loud music a campground's just not the place to do it unfortunately they played their music all weekend long it was playing when I woke up and it was playing when I went to bed the next unwritten rule that my noisy campsite neighbors made was not controlling their dog. Their dog was just as loud as they were, and they allowed their dog to continuously keep on barking. Now, I know dogs are gonna bark. In fact, my dog, Princey, she'll bark anytime another dog is walking by our campsite, but I don't allow her to continue on barking. If you're a pet owner, it's your responsibility to supervise them. And dogs also need to be kept on a leash at all times. Last year, when I was walking Princess at a campground, another dog just came running up to us and in a flash I heard princess yelp out loud like I've never heard her yelp before I was so scared I didn't know what had happened thank goodness I didn't find any bite marks on her so please keep your pets leashed so you can control them while I'm talking about pets the next rule is probably a written rule but it's one that I see that people don't often follow and this one really gets me you need to always pick up after your dog. I don't wanna walk by a pile of doggy doo-doo, or worst case, step in it. It's really easy to carry doggy bags with you when your dog's outside. Please get in the habit of doing this. Now, I'm guilty of breaking the next unwritten rule, but first, I wanna know what is your number one pet peeve that you've seen other campers do? And let me know if you think I've missed an unwritten rule in the comments section below. Okay, as I said, this next unwritten rule is one that I've broken, and that is never walk through someone else's campsite. I know I did this a few times when I started camping. If I saw there was access to a hiking trail, I'd cut through someone else's campsite to get to it. Or if I needed to get to the dumpster and walking through someone else's campsite was a shortcut, I'd take it. Now looking back, I know why I got so many unfriendly looks. When somebody's occupying a campsite, it's theirs, not yours. It's rude to traipse through someone else's space. Now that this has happened to me, I understand why people get annoyed when someone does this. And there were numerous times that my noisy campsite neighbors ran across my campsite to get to the lake. It wouldn't have been much further of a walk if they had walked down the road to get to the lake. I kind of think they knew they were doing something wrong. And that's why they were running so fast every time they ran across my campsite. The unwritten rule number five is don't put trash 
in your fire pit. I can't tell you how many campsites I've been to where people leave trash in their fire pit. A fire pit is not a trash can. I don't want your trash in my fire pit. So take your trash with you and clean up after yourself. And if you do get to a campsite and there is trash around, just pick it up and leave the campsite cleaner than how you found it. Unwritten rule number six is don't approach somebody when they're backing up into their campsite or they're hitching up to leave unless they ask you to. It can be stressful for the person that's backing up into a campsite or hitching up to leave. Even if you're just trying to help or you just want to say goodbye, this is not the time to be chatty. There are important steps to the hitching up process and if I'm in the middle of doing this and someone comes up and starts chatting with me, I may forget one of the important steps I need to do. So let people focus on what they need to be focusing on during these situations. There are more common mistakes that RV newbies make and in this video right up here are tips and tricks to help you avoid making those rookie mistakes. So click on this video right now or if you don't see a video here, I'll also leave the video in the description below. And I can't wait to see you over in that video next.